the editor-in-chief of The Clinical Teacher. If you're just sitting down to write an article for The Clinical Teacher, fantastic, that's great. But if you haven't written it yet, I'd like to just talk with you very briefly about some of the things that might make it better suited to our journal, how to tailor it for our audience. The Clinical Teacher is really intended to be read by clinicians who teach. It's also read by people who provide academic support to those clinicians, but primarily it's the clinicians, doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, dentists, all sorts who teach students or vocational trainees uh, within their clinical settings. The articles therefore need to be really tightly focused on the interests and the needs of those health professionals. They need to be clearly written and relevant to their work. We do insist on a word length of no more than 1,500 words. Now that's deliberate to keep the articles concise and focused because we do find that busy clinicians who are browsing the journal won't read any more than that. We also require you to submit no more than 10 carefully chosen references. Again, that keeps the article focused and it really stops people putting in a whole lot of detail which really isn't necessary to support the point that's being made. Such tight limits do make it difficult to report original research. Uh, so therefore we tend to favour articles that really look more at the successful application of research. You can publish papers elsewhere on data and methods um, and that's fine. Um, we really look more for articles that uh, show how you've used the findings of the research to make a difference in the field of clinical teaching. I wouldn't want to give the impression though that the clinical teachers for dumbed down articles are quite the opposite. It really is quite an intellectual challenge to find the true essence of the work that you've done and present it in a way that such a broad audience of readers uh, can appreciate and get something useful from. So uh, please give it your, your very best efforts. I should point out too that papers that do report research on human subjects will need ethical approval from a duly constituted committee. Um, it's fine obviously to collect data through evaluation of educational programs but to publish those findings in a journal is really a different matter so please make sure that you have uh, consulted appropriately with uh, an ethical committee. Um, I should draw your attention also to the editorial in the December 2012 issue of the journal uh, where Jill Thistlethwaite, the deputy editor and myself do go into a bit more detail on that matter. Um, so I do hope you enjoy connecting with clinical teachers through the journal. You might like to be involved in a podcast or, or a vodcast uh, to uh, support your, your paper. It's really about uh, connecting and uh, making a difference in the field of clinical teaching. So we look forward to receiving your manuscript.